I'm good, how are you? What's your name? Haley Dawkins. Okay. And um, what's your emergency today? I just have a really bad headache and my body feels weak, so I'm uh, a little worried I'm gonna faint. Okay, well, um, just have a seat over there and I'm gonna talk to the doctor and see what I can do for you. Okay, thank you. Hey, Dr. Carson, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Good. Well, I just had a question to ask you. I have a patient who feels like she's gonna faint and um, has a really bad headache. Do you have time to take her back right now? We don't because I'm actually really backed up and that doesn't really seem like an emergency to do to me. We can send her to the urgent care down the street. Okay, I'll let her know. Right. Thank you. Sounds good. Haley Dawkins to the front desk, please. Hey, Haley. Um, I spoke to our doctor and he's really, really busy right now and he said that that doesn't sound like a true emergency, so you can just go to the urgent care down the street. Well, I hope I make it there. Hey Haley, so we're going to send you back to those doors and the nurse can screen you. Okay, thank you. Hey Ms. Dawkins, so we've gone over your results and it turns out that you don't qualify for an emergency, but I'm sure the urgent care of the street would be great to take care of your needs. Okay, thank you. Hey, uh, I was in a shooting scuba accident with my friend, and I think she needs assistance right now. Um, what's her name? Her name's Haley. Okay, do y'all have insurance? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, um, are y'all gonna be able to pay the $1,200 fee just to see the doctor? Uh, not right now. Okay, well, um, if you can't have, if you have insurance, we can't help you right now. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, my friend and I were in a scuba accident and she needs help right away. Okay, what's your name? My name's Nick. What's her name? Her name's Haley. Okay, um, do y'all have insurance? We, uh, do not. Okay, well, are you prepared to pay the $1,200 fee just to see the doctor? No. Okay, that's fine. You know, we're gonna get y'all looked at right away. Here's a nurse who can help y'all. Go on, okay. guys. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to transfer you to Southeast Alabama Medical Center because they're actually better at treating your condition. I'm fixing to finish your paperwork, so you can just head on over there and everything will be good to go. Alright, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, welcome to Southeast Alabama Medical Center. What's your name? Um, it's Haley Dawkins. I was supposed to transfer here from East Alabama. Okay, let me see if we have any transfer forms for you. Um, it's not looking like they completed the forms that they're supposed to, so um, you're just going to have to wait. Um, so should I just go to the waiting room? Yeah, our waiting room's right over there if you just want to wait and then I'll let you know when we're ready. Um, okay. Alright, so we're going to transfer you to Southeast Alabama Medical Center because they're actually better at treating your condition. I'm fixing to finish your paperwork so you can just head on over there and everything will be good to go. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, welcome to Southeast Alabama Medical Center. What's your name? I'm um, Haley Dawkins. I was transferring here from East Alabama. All right, um, let me pull up your transfer forms. All right, they're right here, and our nurse can take you back. All right, thank you. Dr. Yurko, patient 6907 uh, is uh, waiting on that heart transplant. We just went under anesthesia. Uh, nurse, what time is it right now? Uh, sir, it's 12.07. When does my lunch break start? Uh, 12 o'clock usually. Right, so we're going to have to push this operation back at least a couple of hours. Sir, she just went under anesthesia. Um, I need to eat, so this operation is going to have to wait.
Dr. Yurko, um, patient 6907, just went under anesthesia and is waiting on that heart transplant. Right now. Right now. Okay. Hey, um, we have a patient who really needs to see the doctor right now. Um, have they been notified? Um, so I actually can't find the list of the doctors on call, so I'm not sure if we make one for the shift. So they just have to wait till the next doctor comes in for their shift in about two hours. Okay. Hey, Dr. Carson, is are you available right now? No, I'm not available. I'm at my child's soccer game right now. I can't come in. Hey, we have a patient who really needs to see the doctor right now. Um, have you notified him? Um, yeah, let me just pull up the list right now and I'll see who's on call and give him a call. Okay. Hey, Dr. Carson, is are you available right now? Yes. I am available. I'll, I'll be right there. I need to see a doctor. Uh, what's your emergency? I'm having a heart attack. What, do you have insurance? No. Okay, well, um, just go ahead and see the waiting room and we'll get you checked out. I need to see a doctor right now. Just go sit in the waiting room and we'll get you checked out. Oh. What's your emergency? I just feel extremely nauseated, like I'm gonna throw up any second. Okay, well do you have your insurance card? Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. Okay, well um, we have a nurse I can actually take you back right now. Nurse, can you help her out? Yeah, doc, you can come to the doctor. Okay, thank you guys. I need to see a doctor right away. Come on, what's your emergency? I'm having a heart attack. Okay, what do you have insurance? Uh, no. Okay, you're having a heart attack? Yeah, yeah. Right, we, uh, a nurse emergency? Yeah, we'll take you to the doctor right now. Hey, Haley. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we're about to start on your appendicitis. Um, not much to say, pretty simple operation, so uh, we'll get started. Hey Haley, I uh, hope you're doing well. We're about to start on your appendicitis. Um, it's a simple operation, but there are some risks involved. Um, I have to be careful that I don't uh, rupture your appendix or else the toxins in it could get out and damage your body. Um, of course, there's a risk of death, um, infection. That's about it, so we're gonna get started. So we're meeting you today, obviously, because of your issue you have. Um, you can tell by this ultrasound image that you have a cyst on your left ovary. And um, it's very serious. You don't want it to go on any further. You need to get it removed. Um, so basically, we're just going to have to have surgery. Is that the only option? Yeah. Like, there's no other option. Okay, so we're here to discuss um, what we can do to help with your cyst on your ovary as we've already looked at. But, so you have a couple of options. Actually, you can go through with surgery and just have it completely removed, or there are um, medications if you don't want to go through surgery that can help decrease it over time and maybe one day get rid of it, but it might not completely go away. So that's totally up to you and what you want to do. Yeah, I think I'd like to try the medication first. All right, we can see how it works for you. Thank you. Can I see a doctor? I, I fell in my wood shop and I kind of like sliced my wrist. Oh dang! Man. And um, it's bleeding profusely. Can I see well, a doctor? Uh, none of our doctors are on call right now. Uh, you're gonna have to wait until um, they get back from their golfing trip. Will you please have a seat. You sure you can't call anybody? Here? Yeah, I'm sorry. He's not very good at golf, so he takes a while to finish his 18 holes. Uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to wait about probably an hour. I, I can't. I can't wait. Anymore.
I pasted a copy. Yeah, um, I, I was working in my wood shop and I fell and I cut my wrist and I really need a uh, doctor. Okay, uh, none of our doctors are on call, but I'll call them right now. Can you call one, please? Yeah. Hey, Jim. They ain't full can wait. You're gonna be right now. All right. Bye. I right, hope you're here shortly. It's good thing to see you. Okay, thanks. Yep. don't have time for this patient. I'm going to transfer her to Southeast Alabama Medical Center because I just don't have time to deal with it. We need to transfer this patient because I think we're just too overcrowded right now and Southeast Alabama Medical Center has a lot of openings. Sounds like a good idea. 